name is Art Willoughby, and I work for the Department of Navy. Uh, my home location, it's, uh, it's an interesting question or interesting comment, is because I have a home office at Norfolk Naval Shipyard, but the group that I support as a director, we are all over the world supporting the Department of Navy as well as the Department of Defense. Uh, my first exposure to human performance technology was many years ago, uh, I was brought into a training department uh, as an instructor. Uh, that was uh, over almost 30 years ago now. Uh, so I started when I was about six years old. Uh, since then, I have worked back and forth between a uh, quality management uh, profession as well as an area of human performance technology, whether it's in an instructional center or, or off supporting the Department of Defense, Department of Navy in whatever capacity I could, just to help people do their job better. Uh, my biggest influences have been, one is the gentleman that's on the other side of this camera now, Guy Wallace. Uh, he's been a mentor and a good friend and uh, without uh, too much further ado on that, I just want to tell him thank you uh, and for everything he's done for myself as well as others with the uh, ISPI. Uh, other people that have been big influence in my life has been my father as well as uh, an uncle on my mother's side. Uh, the gentleman was a craftsman uh, and he was a tremendous, uh, uh, just a tremendous person. Uh, he taught me quite a bit about how you take a, someone and put them in a situation where they'll be successful and to focus on the person instead of necessarily the task at hand. Uh, an HBT project I've been involved in, I'd like to bundle one group of them together it was for the Department of Navy, uh, where we have worked on standardizing the curriculum involved with continuous process improvement. Uh, that was a rather large project. It, we took on the uh, what's called the Green Belt course for the DMAIC, or Lean Six Sigma, as well as the Black Belt uh, curricula and the Champion curricula uh, for the uh, Department of Navy. Uh, the existing state on that when we first came in was you had many organizations across the Department of Navy as well as industry that were providing curricula that was not standardized. So we took on a project that involved a, a very thorough job and task analysis. What was the expected output? Uh, did assessment on the curricula. Uh, brought in best practices from many different organizations. That way we'd have buy-in and ownership uh, all across the Navy and incorporate some best practices. It helped us with speed to market issues as well. Uh, and it's been very successful. We've been very pleased. Our success rate, one metric you might look at, is the number of students that we've had that have gone on and take the ASQ exam. Our success pass rate is about 95% and that uh, far exceeds what ASQ sees in individuals taking a first pass on their certification exam. So we're very pleased with that. Another piece with that what we're very pleased about is we've seen how they perform in the field and the return they give back to the taxpayers in the Department of Navy as far as return on investment, the cost class versus the typical project, but more importantly to myself and, and others is they're supporting the warfighter. Some of the projects they've worked on uh, not only has had a direct uh, return on investment in dollars, uh, but we've had projects that have uh, done things that have saved the lives of our people that are at the tip of the spear uh, supporting this country. Uh, another project uh, that I've been involved in on, on a similar vein is uh, I was asked by the Department of Army to come in and assist with a suicide uh, prevention program uh, for the Army. And as a son of a soldier, this is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, very pleased. We've had some successes. We still have a way to go. And as long as we have uh, one soldier or one soldier's spouse uh, that is in this situation, we still we have work to do. Uh, but it is on the side of seeing some results, it is rewarding, but it is humbling to see what's involved. Uh, a 30 second elevator speech on HPT, and I try to keep things simple as an old farm boy, I would say is what I do is to go in and assess situations, try to use system thinking, and try to help people do their job better. Uh, whether it means a, a training intervention, or whether it means looking at some sort of job performance aids or job redesign or just stepping back and evaluating the tasks they're doing and are they really adding value? Is it what the customer's paying for? Is it something that's rewarding to them to try to assess the situation and to uh, help people do their job better?
my current uh, and future focus on learning more about HBT is uh, I want to take the steps necessary to, to become a certified performance technologist. And I feel that over the years, uh, the work I've done, and as well as talking to others, uh, that I have gone through the, the basic steps and process, it's a matter of taking the, the time and sitting down and putting it, the package together. And uh, that sometimes can be the most challenging step of all, just to have that time of self-reflection and to look back. So uh, as far as uh, the next steps, I think that's it. That will be it for right now. But uh, because of the challenges I face in the day job, but it's all rewarding. And I appreciate the time here. And thank you very much.